How's it going gang? It's a final render here, and I know it's been a while since we've done a build video on the channel, but welcome back to some Fallout 76 camp building. We've had a pretty exciting time inside Fallout 76 recently, we've recently concluded the nuclear winter season of DLC, and Project Cleanup Appalachia is in full swing. We've already killed 300,000 Scorch Beasts and gotten some cool rewards, and we've got plenty of upcoming challenges to come out in the next few weeks, including a Halloween event, which is going to be very, very exciting, which at least is speculated anyway. So if you guys want to go ahead and see some cool content on Fallout 76, including more camp builds, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and we'll bring all the cool news and videos for you. But first, let's get a camp build video done. So this camp build I've wanted to do ever since I saw this thing on Twitter. We have come to the White Springs today to see its lovely green grass. We've got a lovely little patch of flat grass just to the south of the service entrance of the bunker. And it's a lovely place to go and build any camp that you desire to get the flat ground and the lovely green grass and trees. But what we're going to be making is something I saw on Twitter. This is something I saw Vault 87 Girl upload on Twitter, which is a dollhouse themed camp. And the moment I saw that... I knew I had to go ahead and try it for myself. So go ahead on Twitter, go ahead and follow her, and also go ahead and follow me in the process. And we're going to start building our own dollhouse build. So let's go. So the obviously premise of a dollhouse is that it's just a house which can open up in the middle. It's hinged so that you can see all the different rooms inside the house. So to start off with, we're going to have our very first foundations, which are going to be kind of offset at a 45 degree angle on the corners. This is going to give us our pivot point for the house. You've got to make sure you line them up exactly right though, the exactly right height, otherwise they will not line up properly. And we're going to have each room be three foundations long and one foundation across. So we've got very small rooms, but that's kind of the point of a dollhouse, is that it's just half the room, it's kind of an intersection. And we're going to go ahead and put the walls up. And we also need foundations around the back because we need to attach stairs to the back of the building in order to get different floors. We're going to use these upper floor pieces to give us all of our different floors. And my plan with this build is to have four different floors. We're going to have three main floors and then an attic room on each side of the building. So eight rooms in total. It's going to be pretty darn busy, but it's going to look awesome when it is done. And I actually do need to build up stairs around the back of the building all the way to the roof. Now it does look a bit nasty from behind, it's true, but then again a lot of my camp builds actually do end up looking kind of like movie sets. They kind of have scaffold in it at the back in a way to make it look good on one side. And here we are making the roof. We're going to have a half roof design so we have half walls along with the 45 degree angle slant and then a full wall in the middle. This gives us a nice angled roof design that looks really good and still gives us a little bit of space to put decorations up in here. And here we are with the kind of main structure done. It looks really nice from one side already. We've actually got quite a lot of room up here to decorate and it looks a little nasty from the back. I probably could have spent a little bit more time making the back of the building look a bit more pleasing to the eye. But here we have all of our rooms ready to go. Three main rooms and two attic rooms. And now... I need to give each room a different theme, a different style. So we're going to go and use all the different floor types I have. I think I've probably got like 9 or 10 different floor variations. So we're going to use the best ones to make up different rooms in a house. We're kind of trying to make a house which looks kind of like a nuclear family. You know, the kind of 1950s man goes off to work, woman stays and cooks, the kids play with their toys in the kitchen. You know, that kind of 1950s vibe I'm going for. But of course, we now have the fantastic new wallpapers. I actually told Bethesda in a video, I want this, and I completely forgotten that I'd asked for it, but it's such a cool thing. These wallpapers are so good. There were a couple of attempts to add wallpapers to the Fallout 4 system of building, but they were a little bit fiddly, they required mods, and also they weren't anywhere near as fast and easy as they are inside the Fallout 76 camp system, so the wallpapers is a huge win. I adore this. Thank you very much, Bethesda. And I also did have to go and replace all the walls with brick walls so I could get nicer windows. The red walls I use actually have very nasty windows. But here we are with it all in brick with some nice windows in there. It looks really, really good. The wallpaper makes this build. If there wasn't wallpaper available, this wouldn't look anywhere near as exciting. So I'm really happy the wallpaper came out just in time for this video. And now, I'm going to build myself a little workshop on the top. I'm going to have the generator up there, and have all my power connected to the back with wall pass-throughs and conduits around the back. The reason I'm doing this now is because I want to get all of my lights up first. When you're building with wallpapers and building with multi-story buildings, 
it's a very good idea to get your wallpapers and your lights up first. If you have your wallpapers on first, you can place items on there like posters. But if you want to change your wallpaper, it takes off any posters you have. So you've got to make sure you add the wallpaper and the lights first. And here I am making our little workshop area. Space is really tight up here, really tight. But I was able to get every workshop up here with the exception of the cooking station, which is going to go on the first floor, which we are building now, where we are going to be building our kitchen, our nuclear, nuclear family's kitchen. And it looks really pretty down here. We're going to have like cardboard cutouts to kind of look like you know, toy people that are sitting inside there, you know, kind of role playing that this actually is a real life dollhouse and it's very cool. And above that, we're going to go with our study. It's a good idea to start at the bottom and work your way up, I discovered, because it, sometimes you need to adjust some decorations and often you need to remove the ceiling in order to do that with a multi-story building like this. So it's a good idea to make sure you do them from the bottom and go up so you don't ruin any rooms you've already done. We're also going to glitch a terminal inside a desk. We've shown you how to do that before to get some really cool looks inside this study. It's kind of like a hunter's kind of study in a way. You know, it kind of looks like where, what's the word, a bug doctor would be. I forget the word. I should know because I go on about it constantly in the uh, Pioneer Scout quest line. But there we go with a nice study. It looks really, really good. And then above that, we're going to have a bedroom. This is going to be an adult's bedroom. And I wanted the adult's bedroom to have a bit nicer furniture. You know, have some nice wooden stuff in there. Not clean, not pre-war, but old and antique, which looks really, really good. And here we are once again doing the final render patented curtain technique. You put up an American flag on the wall with no window. And then you swap the wall over to have a window. Line it up just right and you will have a curtain over your windows. It's a nice thing. And until we get actual curtains in the game, this is just going to have to do. More flags would also be a nice way to change this up as well, I suppose. And here we are with the first half of the dollhouse constructed. I can definitely see this coming together already, people. This is such a cool theme. And it's very rare to get such an original idea inside the camp system anymore. But here is something truly original and it looks amazing. We've got a lovely kitchen down here with lots of cool decorations, lots of plushies, lots of the limited edition Easter eggs and also the cooking station so we can cook. Here we have our little study up here, got some cool display cases, got some nice posters and taxidermied animals up there. So kind of give it a little bit of a flavour, a little bit of a vibe. Now we also have a nice bedroom, quite modest the bedroom actually, not too crazy. We do have some very nice clean furniture in there, but overall I think it would make sense to have a clean bedroom. Just because it's post-apocalypse doesn't mean we're animals, we'll still clean stuff, you know what I mean? We'll go ahead and repaint things, we'll go and make sure things are tidy and clean for the sake of our health. And here we have our workshop area. As I said, really tight confines up here, but I was very, very lucky to be able to get all of these workshops in there. I did have to use a couple glitches, a lot of rug glitches and stuff like that, but I was able to get them all in there along with the fusion generator, and it looks fantastic. What can I say? And now we're going to go to the other side of the dollhouse, where we're going to have some different rooms. Starting at the bottom of the building, we're going to have our living room, where we're going to have reading material, we're going to have a nice fireplace, a television. This is where you kind of spend most of your time and chill out. And using the display cases, we're able to get some bobbleheads in there, we're able to get the magazines in there. I've only got half of the bobbleheads, I need to go on a big bobblehead hunt so I can find, I think, the remaining ten. So I can complete this set, I think it's truly fantastic when you get them all in there. And then we're going to have some more furniture in here. Now, whilst I said I want clean furniture for the most part, I don't want it too clean. So I've gone with a kind of a, a nasty looking sofa right there. Put up a TV on a nice modern table, along with some nice wall decorations like clocks. Lots of clocks in this building, I've noticed. And now on the floor above that, we're going to build a bathroom. Bethesda, can we please get some more bathroom functionality inside the camp system? We've got lots of cool things for living rooms and bedrooms and stuff, but not much for bathrooms. Can we get like some bathtubs, some showers, stuff like that, some sinks, you know, some wall cabinets? That would be really, really nice, I think. And we're going to have some nice statues in there to kind of make it look a little bit pristine, you know? It's kind of like a boutique bathroom, so you can go and defecate in fantastic style. And above that, we're going to have a games and music room. This is going to be really nice. It's kind of like a bar in a way, just without the actual bar section, without the alcohol. It's just a place where you can go and play some pool, listen to some music, play some music even on the pianos, and just make a really nice looking place. I love any excuse to use any of these kind of lamp lit posters and all these neon lights. I think they look fantastic. I definitely want some you know, lamp lit posters in my actual place, which has like some Fallout 76 posters, that would be good. Along with a darts hockey right here, so you can go and play some darts up here. And some pretty lights, just to make the place look a little bit different to the rest of it. This is a fun place, exciting, fun, fun, you know, lots of lights, you know. 
can make sure anybody who has short attention span will notice this is the fun room. And then right at the top, we're going to have a bedroom for the angsty teen. It's going to be lovely up here. We're going to have Mothman posters, maybe some university posters, make it look like they're kind of back home from university. And make the place have a little bit of angst, to make it give a little bit of personality in there. I wanted every room to have a little personality, and this actually might be my favourite. It's quite simple, there's not much up here, but we've got some nice stuff. We've got a lot of the decorations from the new Nuclear Winter stuff that you can unlock, like this vault -Tec University trunk and the posters. Along with some plushies, and I said, lots of Mothman decorations. It's going to make it look like a bit hor Hammer Horror. Along with the guitar, so you can write the songs that make you feel happy. Although I never feel happiness. And you can just enjoy yourself in your angst right up the roof where no one's going to bother you, you angry little teenager. So, with that being said, here is the dollhouse completed. Man, this is so cool. I love this build. As I said, it's... So hard to find an original concept in the camp system anymore, considering the game has been out for about 10 months time now. But this is a truly original idea and I'm so happy I found this on Twitter. Really cool overall. The living room at the bottom is quite nice, it's kind of, kind of sparse in a way, it's got a lot of space to walk around. And the bathroom looks really good. As I said, I would love to have some more furniture associated with bathrooms. But we've got toilets, we've got a bathtub, we've got some reading material. We've also got our decontamination arch in here. I figure that's the closest thing we're going to get to a functioning shower currently inside the camp system. So we've got that in there and it works pretty good. What can I say? We've also got our, our playroom up here. I originally wanted to have a full band room up here, but you can only get one instrument in there, really, the piano. So I kind of turned it into this bar area. It looks really nice. It's a really cool little swanky place, you know what I mean? And then we got the angsty teens bedroom at the top. I really like the angsty teens bedroom, you know, deliberately not having wallpaper and stuff like that. And just have lots of cool posters on the walls. Definitely got a lot of personality. And I think it's a very cool design to just have this right at the top as well, rather than say, in the middle of the building. Just a little bit different. But oh, by the way guys, if you're going to do this, don't do it at the White Springs. Mary, mother of frame rate, this place lags quite a bit because we did it at the White Springs. As soon as another camp appears in the White Springs, the frame rate will tank because there's too many camps around here. But overall, I love each individual room we have. They all look really, really special. And I think the fact that you can see every room all at one time really makes this build. You can just kind of step back and admire every single room at once. And it's definitely a very cool way to observe your camp. Because since you can see it all at once, you don't need to spend too much time exploring. Your eyes just get full of creative candy, which is something I'm going to coin on this channel. And I think it's a fantastic build, and I can't wait to do more original builds like this in the future. Thank you very much to everyone who has watched. Remember to check out all the cool Patreon people in the description below. You yourself, of course, can also do the same. You can also go ahead and become a Level 3 YouTube member if you want to go ahead and do that. Level 3 YouTube members get behind the scenes videos, early access to videos, sound commands in the live streams, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Remember to go ahead and follow me on Twitter and also... Follow the original creators video. Follow them on Twitter. Go ahead and follow them on Twitter and let them know I sent you. Until next time, I've been the final render and you've been the audience.